It's important to have financial goals in order to help you manage your money effectively and achieve your financial objectives. Here are some financial goals that you might consider setting for 2023. Create a budget. Creating a budget is a good way to manage your money and make sure you have enough to cover your expenses. Here are the steps to create a budget. Gather your financial information. Start by collecting all of your financial information including your income, expenses, and any debts you have. Determine your income. Add up all sources of income, including your salary, any additional income from a part-time job, and any other sources of income. Identify your expenses. Make a list of all of your monthly expenses, including bills, groceries, transportation, and any other expenses you incur. Be sure to include both fixed expenses such as rent or mortgage payments and variable expenses such as entertainment or dining out. Determine your net income. Subtract your total expenses from your total income to determine your net income. This is the amount of money you have left over after paying all of your bills. Make a budget plan. Use your net income to create a budget plan that allocates money for different expenses. For example, you might allocate a certain percentage of your income for bills, a certain percentage for savings, and a certain percentage for discretionary spending. Track your spending. Once you have a budget in place, track your spending to make sure you are sticking to your plan. Use a budgeting app or spreadsheet to track your expenses and see where you can cut back if necessary. Remember, a budget is a tool to help you manage your money and make the most of your financial resources. It's important to review and adjust your budget regularly to ensure that it's still relevant and helping you reach your financial goals. Pay off debt. Paying off debt can be a challenging but important task. Here are some steps you can take to pay off your debt. Make a list of your debts. Start by making a list of all of your debts, including the creditor, the interest rate, and the minimum monthly payment. Prioritize your debts. Consider prioritizing your debts based on the interest rate. It's generally a good idea to focus on paying off high interest debts first, as these can cost you more in the long run. Consider a debt repayment plan. There are several options for repaying your debts, including the debt snowball method and the debt avalanche method. The debt snowball method involves paying off your debts with the smallest balances first, while the debt avalanche method involves paying off your debts with the highest interest rates first. Make a budget. Create a budget that helps you allocate enough money to pay off your debts. Make sure to leave room in your budget for necessities such as rent, groceries, and utilities. Look for ways to cut expenses. Look for ways to cut expenses so you can allocate more money or paying off your debts. For example, you might consider cutting back on non-essential expenses like dining out or canceling subscription services. Consider consolidation. If you have multiple debts with high interest rates, you might consider consolidating your debts into a single loan with a lower interest rate. This can make it easier to manage your debts and potentially save money on interest charges. Remember, paying off debt can be a long and challenging process, but it can also be very rewarding. Stay focused, be persistent, and don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Build an emergency fund. An emergency fund is a savings account that you can use to cover unexpected expenses, such as a car repair or medical bill. Here are some steps you can take to build an emergency fund. Determine how much you need. Determine how much money you need in your emergency fund by considering your monthly expenses and the amount of financial cushion you feel comfortable with. A general rule of thumb is to aim for three to six months worth of living expenses. Open a separate savings account. Consider opening a separate savings account specifically for your emergency fund so you don't accidentally spend the money on non-emergency expenses. Set a savings goal. Set a savings goal for your emergency fund and make a plan to reach it. For example, you might aim to save $500 per month until you reach your target amount. Automate your savings. Consider setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your emergency fund account to make saving easier. Look for ways to save. 
Look for ways to save money and put the extra funds into your emergency fund. For example, you might consider cutting back on non-essential expenses or negotiating your bills to lower your monthly expenses. Remember, an emergency fund is an important part of any financial plan. It can provide a financial cushion during unexpected situations and help you avoid going into debt. Try to build up your emergency fund as quickly as possible to ensure you have the resources you need when you need them. Save for retirement. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like the video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Saving for retirement is an important part of financial planning as it can help you ensure that you have enough money to support yourself during your golden years. Here are some steps you can take to save for retirement. Determine your retirement savings goal. Consider how much money you will need to retire comfortably and set a savings goal accordingly. Keep in mind that your retirement savings goal will depend on your individual circumstances, including your expected retirement age, desired lifestyle, and other financial commitments. Choose a retirement savings vehicle. There are several options for saving for retirement, including 400 and onic plans, individual retirement accounts IRAs, and other types of investment accounts. Consider your options and choose the one that best fits your needs and financial situation. Start saving as early as possible. The earlier you start saving for retirement, the more time your money has to grow. Take advantage of the power of compound interest by starting to save as early as possible. Increase your savings over time. As you get older and your income increases, try to increase your retirement savings contributions. Even small increases can make a big difference in the long run. Consider professional advice. If you're not sure how to best save for retirement or have complex financial needs, consider seeking the advice of a financial planner or advisor. Remember, saving for retirement is a long-term goal that requires planning and discipline. The sooner you start saving, the more prepared you'll be for your golden years. Invest in education. Investing in your education can help you build new skills and increase your earning potential. Here are some steps you can take to invest in your education. Determine your educational goals. Consider what you want to achieve through your education and how it can help you reach your career goals. Research your options. Look into different educational programs and institutions to find the ones that best fit your goals and budget. Consider factors such as the cost of tuition, the length of the program, and the job prospects after graduation. Look for financial aid. There are several options for financial aid to help you pay for your education including grants, scholarships, and loans. Research your options and see if you qualify for any financial assistance. Create a budget. Create a budget that includes the cost of tuition and other educational expenses and make a plan to pay for them. Consider the opportunity cost. Investing in your education can take time and money so it's important to consider the opportunity cost. Think about the potential benefits of your education and how it might help you reach your long-term goals. Remember, investing in your education can be a valuable investment in your future. Carefully consider your options and make a plan to pay for your education in a way that works for you. Save money for a specific goal. Saving money for a specific goal can be a challenging but rewarding process. Here are a few steps you can follow to help you save money for a specific goal. Determine your goal. What do you want to save money for? Is it a down payment on a house, a wedding, or a vacation? Knowing your goal will help you stay motivated and focused on your saving efforts. Set a savings target. How much money do you need to save for your goal? Make sure to be realistic about the amount you can save and the time frame you have to save it. Create a budget. A budget can help you see where your money is going and identify areas where you can cut back on expenses. Look for ways to reduce your spending, such as by eating out less or canceling subscriptions you don't use. Set up a separate savings account. 
consider setting up a separate savings account specifically for your goal. This can help you keep your savings separate from your everyday spending money and make it easier to track your progress. Automate your savings. Consider setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account. This can help you save consistently without having to remember to transfer money manually. Look for ways to increase your income. Can you pick up extra hours at work, start a side hustle, or sell items you no longer need? Increasing your income can help you save more money for your goal. Remember, it's important to be patient and consistent when saving for a specific goal. It may take some time to reach your target, but by staying focused and committed, you can achieve your financial goals. In conclusion, Setting financial goals for 2023 is a great way to create stability and security for yourself and your family. Whether you want to save a certain amount of money, pay off debt, build an emergency fund, invest in your retirement, or save for a specific goal, it's important to be realistic and create a plan to reach your goals. Remember to track your progress and make adjustments as needed. By staying focused and committed, you can achieve your financial goals and create a strong foundation for your future.